Hello and thanks for watching my How Do I video where all the videos are very short and very specific. Uh, this video here, we're working with this data set. We formatted it in an earlier video so it all looks nice. But we look at what we've got here. We've got names, different names here, and grades, males and females kind of mixed up. And it looks like they're test scores. And a caveat I always give, these are fake names that I made with a name generator that I made. So they may look familiar, but they're not real people. So being a teacher, you probably would want to figure out, you know, the, the data that re revolves around the test scores. So it looks like some of the kids did good, some of the kids did bad. How successful were you as a teacher? Well, we could figure out the average score. So the way we do that, it's a pretty simple formula. We'll just click over here to G. doesn't matter where you click. And I'm going to type equals, and then I'm going to type average. Now, the average is the same as the mean, but there is no formula for mean. So if you're trying to find the mean, use this formula here, equals average, and then I do a parentheses, and then I'm going to select the entire column that I want to take the average of. Even though there's text in A1, doesn't matter. I can still get the average. It's just going to ignore that text and get all the numbers. And then I'm going to do another parentheses, and then hit enter, and I get this big long number right here. Okay, now that's good, but what about the maximum score? So 70 is barely passing, so we'll do a similar. So let me make some headers here. We'll type average and max, and then we'll do min. We'll figure out all that stuff. All right, so the maximum score is very similar. We're going to do equals max, not maximum, but max. Get that whole column, and then another parentheses, and enter. So somebody got a 98. Let's see what the lowest score was. It's very similar to max. Equals min. And then a parentheses, look at all of E. I just select the whole column, another parentheses, and there we go. So I have the basic data here that um, the average I probably would want to fix, but um, I kind of know a little bit, but I probably want to know a little bit more because I've got 7th, 6th, 7th, and 8th graders, males and females, all sorts of things. So I probably want to figure out a little bit more about this data. That's going to be on the next upcoming videos. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And check out my other videos for other solutions. And if you have any suggestions for me, let me know. Thanks so much.